The Grigri is a semi-automatic belay device that increases the braking force by using a blocking mechanism. For inserting the rope, the Grigri is opened. The rope is placed around the cam in the device. As indicated on the Grigri, the brake side rope passes out of the device to the front. Upon closing the device, it is connected to the harness by means of a locking carabiner. When performing the partner check, you have to see that by pulling the climbing side of the rope, whether the rope has been inserted correctly and the blocking mechanism activates. When belaying top rope, the brake hand pulls the slack rope out of the device in a bow movement, while the guide hand at the same time leads the climber's end of the rope to the belay device. Then, the right hand tunnels up and down the brake side rope. Thumb and index finger form a circle so that the hand firmly encloses the rope at all times. Okay, zu. When taking the climber, the belayer puts the rope under full load with all his body weight so that it is tightened and the blocking mechanism is activated. When lowering the climber, the brake hand holds the brake side of the rope while the guide hand pulls the lowering lever towards the body in a controlled manner using the index and ring finger. The blocking mechanism is loosened. The belayer lets the rope pass into the device slowly and under control. The lowering speed is primarily controlled by the brake hand. The last meters to the floor you have to see that the landing area is clear. In the home position when belaying lead, the so-called Gaswerk technique is used, named after the climbing gym Gaswerk in Zurich. The index finger of the brake hand here stabilizes the grigri below the metal seam while the thumb pushes down the blocking mechanism. The remaining three fingers enclose the brake side rope from this position, slack may quickly be paid out or taken up. In particular, using thin ropes, the Grigri may be handled just like a tube without the gust work technique. Using this method, the brake hand encloses the brake side rope. The so-called gust work grip may be omitted. The challenge in lead belaying is the permanent change between paying out and taking up rope. For paying out rope, the brake hand remains in its home position. The thumb pushes down the blocking cam. The guide hand pays out the required slack. Excessive slack is then taken up again. The gas work technique may also be used by left handers the index finger of the left hand moves below the fixing point of the release handle. Tube style handling is less complex but only works well with relatively thin ropes. In case of a fall, the right hand grips the braking side of the rope and moves downwards. The blocking mechanism is activated. By pulling the release handle with all of one's force and panic when lowering the climber, the rope may pass through the device out of control. The speed of the rope when lowering the climber is carefully controlled by the brake hand and the release handle using the index and ring finger. The new Grigri Plus comprises of an anti-panic handle or anti-panic function which prevents accidents caused by pulling the release handle uncontrolled. This anti-panic handle only works reliably when the brake hand grips the brake side of the rope. If the Grigri is fully enclosed by one hand when belaying, there is a danger of overriding the blocking mechanism by reflexively pressing the device shut. As simultaneously the brake hand principle is violated, there is an immediate danger of hitting the floor. Even with the Grigri, 
the brake hand has to control the brake side of the rope at all times. This way, a fall may always be held securely.